phones, bring your phones. Just you enter like this. Bring your phones, bring. Hey, 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 guys! Welcome back to my channel. This is Shek, my love. Oh, we are looking so damn good. We are looking like a snack. Just imagine looking like this when I'm natural. How about when I apply lipstick, eyeshadow, blah blah blah? Okay, I'm kidding, but I'm looking good. I hope you guys watched my skincare product because I'm just using natural products, simple, cheap or affordable products. But look at my skin. I as it look I did. I'm not like look at my skin. I'm so it's so nice. It's so nice. I'm admiring myself for for several reasons I have to be. Anyway, anyway, today just like I promised you in my last video that I'm going to be giving you a series of my life experience as a housemaid here since I came and until date, until I go back home, I'm going to be filming many videos about them and yeah, I hope you get something out of them. I hope you get inspired. So today I'm going to talk about my my first month my first month in in, in Saudi Arabia so uh, I came on 9th so I'm going to tell you from 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 that I, I traveled from two days I traveled so I went and they called me and they told me you, know, you remember my things didn't take a lot of time I only processed things for two weeks because I had passport, I have, and I had money, so I invested in money because I never wanted anything to slow. Because if it had slowed, I was going to, of course, I was going to cancel that. So it only took me around two weeks for everything to be processed, and I had to travel. So this guy called me. I was at home. He called me on seventh. No, he called me yeah, on 7th in the, at night and he, then he was like, uh, are you ready? And then he was like, ready about what? What's, what's up? He, he was like, your ticket is here and your, your visa is out. Uh, you're going to travel. I was like, okay. Then he was like, um, please pack your bag and you come to the office. I knew where the office were. They were in Chuatule. I'm not going to say the company. So the next day I had to take my cousins to school back to school. It was a Saturday. It was a Saturday 8th. So I had to take them to school and then no. It was 7th. So I had to take them to school and I took the last one because they were how many? I don't know, but I took the last one in the evening. So after they had to drop me to the company. So I went, I found other people, I found other girls. They have hostels, something like rentals. So in fact they are lodges, lodges. So they rented there as a company and then we found I found a lot of people, a lot of people, but there was a group of, of of 11 people that were coming so by then they were 10 one came the uh, next day after me so we i went there they took us we ate food they had care really good care so they took us we had good food and then the next day on 8th uh, we went to the company and they had to check us again before we traveled pregnancy hiv blood. they checked us thoroughly they checked us and the one was like people were so scared i was like they knew what they were going what why were they doing this like people were so worried others wanted to dodge but there was no way you could dodge about being tested or taken so uh we got our results in the evening and then yeah that, that evening was it was a good evening and i found so many people that were so excited like they were really excited and others were treating like i'm i'm this quiet person if i'm with people that i don't know especially even those people that know me 
a real talk like i don't i'm not so worried so i was always quiet and maybe people were think i don't know how why they were thinking about me but they at first they treated me like ah i think when i entered like this because i was looking for a room to sleep in and everyone was like no we are full blah 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 then i stood there and i was like i told the lady i'm going to pay for this room it's okay let me because there were i think four empty rooms empty rooms in gazaba customer so i told the lady it's okay let me pay for the room leave them so the lady went in and spoke to other girls some girls and then they were like let her come and sleep here so i went i took my my bags in i was in period i had terrible cramps so i didn't want to bother myself with anyone with anyone literal anyone i was so scared i was really scared and remember when i was leaving i didn't tell anyone like literally no one knew that i was leaving no one knew what that i was doing something about about for my dad and my brother my friend my two best friends so and when i went there i just put my bags in i came from home after showering and then i put my bags in i just slept but i didn't have sleep i went on my phone by then cindy cindy had, had staged had staged a concert so i was just watching cindy's concert and killing the stress because i was thinking so much i was like what am i going to do how am i going to do this like i was thinking literally thinking overthinking about how i was, how I was going to handle these people about how I, how i'm going i was going to manage all these years like two years look to be so 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 much like i couldn't i couldn't even believe that i was going to leave home for two years i had just graduated by then i just got a job though it wasn't that paying so i wanted to do something for myself i really wanted to do something for myself and i wanted to get lost for a while and come back when i'm better you understand so uh the next day we went and i had to so when they confirmed that we were leaving that very day or night um we went to the company because we were sleeping at the lodges and then the 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 company the offices was somewhere else but within Chihuahua. and then we went there so we did what we had to do doing everything and then i had to 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 open my account because it was open but it was it wasn't active so i had to activate it so i went there i told that lady and she told me it's okay so i went to Intinda. I activated it and then I found them. I came back. It didn't take long. I came back, so I called my dad. I called my dad and I was like, we are leaving and we are leaving. We are boarding at, at five, but I think we are going to leave here at, at around two. And then, yeah, that was my last call to him. So I went back to the office and I found people eating. I didn't eat. Like I was so scared, literally. I was overthinking about where I was going. But everyone was excited. So after that, we went at two, except two. We went to the airport. Now coming to the airport. Hmm? Coming to the airport. We were coming the in the in the taxi. But people were so excited. Everyone was calling their grandi, their sister, boyfriends, and I had no one to call. Like I had a airtime, I had a man on phone, but I had no one. Like I wasn't in the mood. And they were shouting, they were so excited, and I was like, I was seated somewhere in the corner at the back and just my tears were running down. I don't know why I was crying, but I was feeling like I was in my head. I was like, do they know what they are going to face? Because I think I put that so much in my head. That is 
what I, I talked about in my previous video that is fear and pain I was so scared I was so scared of what I was going to experience I was so scared of the pain that was I was going to go through during those two years so to cut the story short we went we checked in we did everything unfortunately one of my our friends didn't make it so she had to go back and then we came so we reached in Saudi we reached in Saudi and I, I didn't communicate to anyone we reached to in we reached at night at at four reaching at the okay we reached at the airport at around at around 2 a.m. in the morning and then they picked us but they drove they drove like they drove everyone was shouting like those people who came for us they were so rude they were shouting they had, they took they took us but the man drove for like one and a half hours and we were all scared wow they taking us you understand so we were so scared and we reached Immediately when we reached at the company, our company, we found a um, woman there. She was like, bring your phones, bring your phones. Just, you enter like this, bring your phones, bring your phones. And she was quarreling, she was shouting. I was like, what? Like, they didn't tell us that at the company. They didn't, literally, they didn't tell us that shit. So we gave out our phones, we didn't communicate to anyone to, to, to inform them that we had reached, they took our phones. So we, we carried our bags up, we thought that is, that is that maybe we, they were going to give us our phones in the morning, because that's what she said, other people had refused and then she was like, you'll get them in the morning and tell your parents that you reached. Hey, <laughs> it was a lie, it was a lie. So we went up, it was another case. So we went up, we, we found this woman, she's called Mar. So uh, we found a lot of a lot of domes up there and everyone was looking at us like they were like you know those those old one like Abazi one kid and were like hey balesa balala balesa balala bichi bichi oh my want to ever teasing right so we went and we had them calling us Mugendeli, Mugendeli, Mugendeli. You understand? Ogamba Siva, Banafe. So, uh, she called us in her room. Nagam, let her bags, you bring your bags, remove everything. They took the Vaseline, they took everything. Like everything, she was looking for makeup, lip balm, blah, everything, plus the lotions. So, I don't know why they do that, but remember it was too hot remember we are not used to that weather they take the perfume they take everything and then you're not used to that weather you don't have vaseline no color like for the first one week two color ne you know like you try a movie the jaff kanga jaff white the jiriko timba like woody dango go yuri kanga no jira but skin is all yet it was very hot and then after a week they gave us the vaseline but the skin was already spoiled we are looking like twali to so that guy so we, when we reached there and she called us she was very shout like she was so loud shouting uh, to Vuma we did nothing maybe so we reached there and to my understanding I was so scared I was like she was brown very brown and then I was like her like I thought but Joby and I video that was going to happen like i thought i'm done i thought they are going to sell us i thought we are going to be prostitutes i was so scared i was i was very scared i was like what the hell what the hell is this because i used to see a lot of videos and then in the morning we went there we found another nigerian she was also shouting but 
they are good people now they are good because i'm used and i also realized that that is a system they have to make you understand how or what you're going to face or you sh what you should what you should what uh expect when you're here so we thought we were leaving we got that the, the first week got done the second week got done the third week got done and we are still there we were so tired sleeping like cockroaches huh? sleeping like cockroaches there's no mattresses no cover the good thing it was hot so you needed not to cover yourself like we really went through a lot and everyone was stressed you remember you're spending a one a month the whole month without communicating to your parents or to your homies they are worried and like they weren't allowing us to do that and the situation there was so 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 traumatizing it was so bad and everyone was yearning to get out just to get out and go to the field we weren't scared about what we might find there there because other people were already in the field the one who came before us they were in the field and then another thing that we loved is that was that uh we used to see people coming back from the field they go and then come back they need another house the other house is not good so we try to pick up however we weren't working and we knew we weren't going to be paid of course so it was coronavirus i know everyone was so stressed at home because the disease just hit the country just like that and people were quarantined they weren't working so you add that stress on top of that you're not hearing anything from someone who traveled and of which you know the country they went in is not that good like you cannot trust when you're not talking or communicating to someone so that was my first month but fortunately and at on third first on third first we signed re ready to work and i was so fortunate like so fortunate because we were many we were over maybe a thousand people at our company who we were so many very many so we were in groups and then my group uh other groups they detected people that they had they had uh coronavirus they had to be quarantined and everyone was like we were so stressed and tired of that situation we just wanted to go to the field communicate to our parents communicate to our loved ones and then yeah we start working because what we came for money and weren't working so it was a month so on that first hour we were fortunate enough that we signed my group signed and immediately after signing immediately i mean immediately after signing and remember remember people are coming back and you find someone is is having a broken leg they say they pushed me on a bam watches on a in a correct yeah mochi in a lot yeah food people are facing a lot of challenges and you just needed to go to the food and no pambana you understand so we were scared but of course we had to go and work so we were taken already for for work i was the first person to be called within one hour i got a customer i got a customer within one hour you know i wanted to go to the field we were we all wanted to go to the field not only in my group but we had like 80 groups those who came 74 35 26 25 like who were many who are many there so they called me and when they called me you know people loved me i don't know why because because i was so quiet i wasn't talking like i was so quiet i was lucky and everyone was just looking at me like this and then when they called me <laughs> you know what happened everyone like they 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 let the lady came and called me they told me the boss is down you bring your bag they called me and almost the whole the whole section came down 
like they came down and and the office was like wait are you the mothers of these kids it was so funny it was so funny so people were so excited whenever you saw whenever we saw someone going we were so excited for them and happy for them because everyone was praying to get out to move out of that situation and got the food so that's when I got the they bought me for three months they bought me for three months and I went there we were approaching Ramadan and that was another that is another story so I went on 31st March that's when I started working so the whole month I didn't work work at the company so I went on I went on 31st another 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 saga started from there like shit started from there for three months but after they came they continued to renew to renew because yeah i was i was good i'm i'm really a good worker i'm really good even when i i faced a lot of challenges in most cases i really want to get the work done so i spent there one and two months and i'll come and tell you about my experience in that first house of mine and then now i'm ending here i think the video is coming to and thank you for watching again thank you for subscribing for supporting me endeavor to subscribe comment like if you like my videos it encourages me to film or to continue filming other videos for you and i love you and take care